Hey everyone, I am Seema Yasmin. I'm a doctor and a medical journalist at the Stanford Center for Health Education and welcome to Viral Facts with Digital Medic. I know a lot of you have questions about COVID-19 vaccines because I get asked a ton of them on my social media. So in the next roughly four minutes, I'm going to answer your questions about vaccine side effects, allergies, and one final question that might sound a bit drastic, but is really important to clear up. First of all, what's the deal with vaccine side effects and how should you expect to feel after you get vaccinated? Well, most people feel completely fine after getting their first and second shots of the Pfizer, BioNTech, Moderna and AstraZeneca vaccines. Only about one in 2000 people reported any kind of symptoms to the CDC after receiving the vaccines and fewer than one in 20,000 people reported any serious symptoms. Now, these rates are actually quite similar to those of other safe and effective vaccines like the annual flu shot. You get a bit of an achy arm, headaches and fatigue. Those are the most common non-serious symptoms that were reported. Still, it's good for you to be aware of these so that you know they're pretty typical after effects of vaccination. That way you can be less worried about them. And you should know actually that these after effects are a sign that your immune system is gearing up to protect you from infection. Now, like I said, not everyone who gets vaccinated gets these side effects. And for those who do, most symptoms like the pain in the arm, the fever, the headache goes away after one to three days. So second question, what's the deal with allergic reactions to the vaccine? Very few people who got the COVID-19 shots have any kind of allergic reaction. In fact, of the roughly 14 million Americans who were vaccinated in the first month of the US vaccination program, 62 out of the nearly 14 million had an allergic reaction. That's about one in every 220,000 people. So chances of having an allergic reaction to COVID shots is extremely low. If these rare reactions are going to occur, they almost always happen immediately after vaccination. And that's why you should wait 15 minutes in the clinic or pharmacy after getting vaccinated, just to be safe. Now, what if you have severe food or other allergies and you carry an EpiPen? The CDC says it's okay for you to get vaccinated if you have food or seasonal allergies. Those kinds of allergies are not a reason to avoid the COVID vaccines. The only reason for not receiving the Pfizer-BioNTech and Moderna mRNA vaccines is if you've had a past severe allergic reaction to a previous dose of an mRNA COVID vaccine or you have allergies to any of the vaccine ingredients. If you're thinking, well, that's not me, but I did once have an immediate and bad allergic reaction to a different vaccine. In that case, the CDC recommends that you talk about this with your provider. And that way you can figure out what's the best course of action for you. Now that final and kind of drastic sounding question I've mentioned, that question is, has anyone died because of the COVID vaccines? The answer to that is no. There have been no deaths linked to COVID shots. Of the 208 million people around the world who've received vaccines made by Pfizer-BioNTech, Moderna and AstraZeneca, none have died as a result of vaccination. You may have heard stories of deaths linked to COVID-19 vaccines because there's so much misinformation out there. But when you hear these rumors, bear in mind that these vaccines have been given to millions of people, hundreds of millions, and they've been found to be safe and protective against COVID-19. Also, bear in mind that some of the top priority groups for vaccination are older adults. And here's an example for you. The average 85-year-old living in the UK, for example, has a 1 in 10 chance of dying in the next year just because of their age. But if that person dies, say, a week or a month after getting a COVID vaccine, often there are rumors that it was the vaccine that caused their death, even though that's not been true. So I hope this clears up some of the questions and the misinformation about vaccine side effects, allergies and safety. I'll be back next week with more answers to your questions. In the meantime, subscribe, ring the bell to make sure you don't miss our next episode. And please drop your questions in the comments. I'll try to respond here. And you can also check out our website for tons of accurate info about COVID-19. Keep wearing your mask. Keep staying safe. See you next week.